So the MSIS program, which of course stands for the MS and Information Systems Program, is really a program that is uh, positioned to be at the intersection of business and technology. Okay? So uh, if you think about what the world is going through, technology has become the key enabler of pretty much everything in a business. Okay? But Increasingly, uh, what we need is we need a transformation of the technology organization from being just thought of as a uh, support function or a necessary evil in an organization to where it really is becoming a strategic component of how businesses run. So the focus of the program is to really provide the people who understand how they can actually leverage technology to enable business change and business transformation. So it's right there at the intersection of business and technology, and that's what we try to produce. Uh, we are very closely involved with the whole admission process. So, so what do you look for in students while selecting them for the program? Okay. Well, I'll say that first of first and foremost, we are uh, the Kelly School, located in um, Bloomington, and uh, that comes with um, the notion of what I call Midwestern values and work ethics. So the main thing I look for is a fit with who we are as a cultural fit to the Kelly School itself. Okay, so That means somebody who is willing to work hard, uh, willing to, uh, to uh, want to transform and change themselves from where they are to what they need to be to be successful in the marketplace. And then there are all the other objective measures like, you know, GRE scores or GMAT scores or GPAs and so on. But to me, I think those are all more, um, uh, uh, we use that to, to, use, to, to narrow down our pool, but at the end of the day, if we don't think you're a good fit for who we are here at the Kelly School and what we want to produce out of here, then you don't get in. The biggest thing that students want to know is when you're recruiting, what are you looking for? Um, if you were to have an ideal class, what would that class look like? Sure, absolutely. I think the biggest thing is that we have a diverse class. Um, and I think that always enriches the, the classroom environment. That's international students, that's students from a uh, you know, myriad of majors, um, students with just different profiles. Um, we're always looking for well-rounded students. That would be the you know, underlying theme of all of them. So students that have, do well academically, that are involved on campus, uh, co-curricular activities, students that um, go beyond just the classroom environment. That's a very important aspect of it. But we also like to see that they've done internships, that they're um, involved in student organizations, that they've had, you know, volunteering experience, you know, just as some examples. But I think all of that's going to be very important. We've always, uh, in recent years, we've seen an increase in Cali students I'd like to continue that pipeline, but we're also looking to go outside of the Kelly School to expand informatics students, expand LAMP students, um, expand um, to schools outside of IU, certainly, in both in the state of Indiana and outside. And so we're looking to increase that as well. So well-rounded applicants are probably uh, what we're looking most for, and just to ensure that we have a diverse and cohesive class that's coming in each year. Tell us how, how important a resume is and how, how much does it affect the, uh, uh, the candidate's chance of getting an interview. Sure. I think a uh, resume is one piece of your personal brand in terms of your written personal brand. However, I think um, in the last, let's say, 10 years, 
a resume has probably um, isn't probably as important as networking. Um, I think you know in terms of students um, finding the, the right position for them, networking is far more important than the resume. Um, although you know you do want to have your like no grammatical errors on your resume um, or anything like that. So. of what you've enjoyed so far? Um, quite a few things actually. Uh, to begin with, I think the, uh, the workload in the initial weeks was pretty high. And you know, at that time I really couldn't understand why I'd be being given so much work. But now I realize how much that initial workload has changed me because I can do loads of things at, at the same time. I mean, three projects, four assignments, two presentations that it's all part of, you know, just a part of daily life now. It doesn't doesn't disturb me anymore. I don't lose sleep over it. That's that's one one thing that you know I have seen the transformational experience coming in pretty early. Uh, second up would be uh, the faculty and the staff support, which has been excellent. I mean, there have been times where when I needed to talk to people from the program, and, and they were there for me, uh, especially Professor Ramesh uh, and uh, Christina. They really helped us, you know, through to the tough times. Uh, next up would be the fellow students. I think I'm a great friend with, with, with most of them and, and all of them. And it's just so much fun to hang around with them. You know, classes are fun. In, and it's, it's just, even even the work that we do together, it's all fun. It's, it's not, not work or assignment, but it's just a great time. It's just fun. did you choose to enter the Kelly NSIS program? Well, I first heard about the NSIS program here when I was, was a freshman. I just joined the Student Accounting Society here, and at one of our first meetings in the semester, we had some people um, from the NSIS program come to talk to us, and they said they really emphasized that having an accounting and technology background is really beneficial because the indus industry really needs people who understand both sides of it. So that was what first piqued my interest, but um, it was kind of parked in the back of my brain for a while. And my sophomore year, I had to do a school project um, for one of my classes. And my friend and I went to talk to um, two professors, two accounting professors here, about the graduate accounting programs we could get involved in. And they mentioned the um, master's in accounting, actually, and I thought it might be something I'm interested in pursuing, but ultimately I decided that I wanted to, you know, di diversify myself. I wanted to do something other than accounting as much as I enjoy it, and I remembered that the MSIS program um, really gives that good fit, so I decided to apply and see what happens. Okay. <laughs> okay.